Hey everyone, it's Dan here. I just wanted to make a quick video that goes over the uh, new features of our site audit tool. Um, when you first load it up, you won't have a site audit summary like I'm seeing here. You probably just see the search bar. So what you do is you enter whatever domain you're looking to get a site audit on. Um, you don't put in specific URLs. The site audit works on domain level. So put in the domain and then select the amount of pages to crawl. Uh, if you set it to 500 pages and your site only happens to be, let's say 200 pages, uh, it will only use 200 of the crawl credits. Uh, each plan comes with crawl credits, which are separate from your normal um, research credits. So uh, you could check how many you have left here in the history. You'll see the audits credits remaining. And also in the settings slash upgrade page, you could see uh, your plan, how many credits and whatnot there. So put in your domain, press start, and then it will show you that the crawl is in progress. There's no need to leave the page open and wait for the crawl to finish. You can just you know go about your day, do whatever research you want. Usually crawl takes anywhere from two minutes to potentially half hour, 45 minutes. To, if you had a really big site, it's usually fairly quick, but um, you don't need to keep the page open while it's doing the crawl process. So then you could come back and when you come back and the crawl is finished, you'll see a crawl summary like the one you're seeing here. Uh, right off the bat, you'll see we give you an optimization score about how optimized uh, your site is an overview of the site issues, the total site issues uh, by priority, high priority issues, medium priority, low priority. Then on the right hand side, you'll see a snapshot of the pages we found on your site. Um, it will be in order of internal links. Usually the most important pages have the most internal links. Um, not always, but usually. So this just gives you a quick rundown of the pages on your site and an order of internal links. Then it's the uh, total number of HTML pages we found on your site, how many redirects we're seeing, and then the date of the actual crawl. So now let's get into the actual audit. On the left, you'll see all the things that we look for in our site audit. And um, if you see a green check mark, it means uh, we found no issues for that specific uh, is uh, category or issue. Um, and then if there are issues, you'll see here, like this has uh, one issue, the red meaning high priority, orange uh, medium priority, and the blue would be low priority. You could also see uh, which uh, priorities each one has with the color here. So if they're red, they're the high priority and so on. Uh, as far as uh, the priority goes, um, issues in red, we definitely think, you know, you should get around to fixing. Those are going to be the most important and most beneficial. The orange um, are not at, quite as important, but still should be on your list to get fixed. And the blue is, you know, best practices. You want to fix them. They're not super important, um, but they're things you may want to look at. For example, you know, pages with low character counts. If I click on it, it will show the pages that we found with low character counts, our contact page, our login page. It's not super important to have a lot of uh, text on those pages, but a couple of these others maybe, and we might want to look into it. Um, but that's what also shows you how the audit works. Any problem that you see an issue, for example, uh, broken pages, uh, you click and it'll show you the broken page and then um, broken links to URLs, stuff like that. So it'll uh, give you once again, the pages that we found the issues on a little, um, you know, blurb about uh, a little more in depth about what the issue what we're looking for there. And once again, they'll be in order of internal links, um, basically meaning the most important pages probably are at the top. So it's it's, it's what we set out to do. We tried to keep this site audit simple. We didn't want uh, to throw too much information at you. So it's basically a bunch of issues, whether we found the issues, how many and what priority those issues are. And then you can just uh, click on the issue, see the pages that the issue is on. Some will show you extra text below the URL. For example, um, 
This was duplicate meta tags found on the same page. So we have duplicate generator tags that it's showing us. If, uh, let's see, titles are too long, it'll show you the title so you can see it right there. Um, so we give you a bunch of information laid out pretty easily and it just gives you a good way to uh, further optimize your site. Um, there's not much more to this. Uh, oh, one thing, the categories that are in gray are not issues. They are just information that we wanted to include in the audit so that you have it. Uh, you'll see that they don't have like the red, orange or blue signifier next to them. They're just gray and you don't have to uh, use that info if you don't want, but it's it's not any issue that needs to be fixed. Um, there's not much more to this. Uh, you know, just give your site a run through the audit and um, you can take a look at the issues that you may have. But other than that, I think um, that basically sums it up. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.